Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, you're going to learn all about variable amount pricing. We're going to talk about how you can pass in your own amounts ad hoc and in line. We're also going to talk about how you might enable your customers to specify their own amounts at checkout. This is useful for things like tips or donations. And it's also useful to create inline prices if you have a big product catalog that's not actually maintained inside of Stripe. Let's start out with a simple demo. Imagine you had a page here to collect donations and you have a button that says donate. This is gonna make a post request back to our server and then on our server, we'll make an API call to Stripe to create a checkout session and we're ultimately redirected to this page. Now at this point, we are hard coding a price ID for a donation amount of $10. So we can say, yeah, we wanna donate $10 and we'll ultimately be redirected back. Let's take a look at the code for this. So if we jump into VS Code here, you'll see that this is the API call for creating the checkout session. This gives us back a checkout session object that we then use to redirect to the session URL. In this case, inside of our line items, we are specifying a price. This is the ID of a price. If we head over to our Stripe dashboard and go to our products tab, we can see the product for this donation has a price that has a fixed $10 one-time amount. We can also create these new kinds of prices. So let's add another price here. And instead of uh, using standard pricing, we can use this new pricing model called customer chooses price. When the customer can choose their price, we can also set a, an amount that is shown by default. So perhaps we wanna accept $10 by default, but we also might wanna set limits like, okay, we only want to accept $5 minimum, and maybe we only want to accept at most $500. So we can add that price. And now we have this new price called customer chooses. We can copy that price ID, head back into our server and paste that in here. Now we're using this brand new price. If we go back through our payment flow, restart our demo and click on donate. Now, when we get to the Stripe checkout page, we'll see that the customer has this new button that allows them to change the amount from $10 to maybe $100 and now they can see that they're gonna donate $100. Notice that the button said donate, that's instead of pay. Um, we're able to control that by setting the submit type here to donate instead of uh, the default, which is just to pay. Uh, you can also set it to book. There's a couple of different options there. All right, so now we have uh, a successful payment for $100 and that was something that the customer was able to set. Now, if we wanted to, there's also another option here where we could collect the amount on our own form and then pass that in dynamically. This is an inline use case where we're gonna create the price while we're creating the checkout session. So let's take a look at our index.html file here. We might add a div with an input box of type number. We're gonna make the step 0.10 because we're using USD today. And we're gonna set the name to amount and that should be good. So now if we head back over to our form, we'll notice that there's now an input box for someone to specify the amount they want to pay. On the server, we want to collect that amount from the request body. So we're gonna pull the amount off of the uh, request.body, and this amount is gonna come in as a dollar amount with cents. So what we wanna do is convert that into uh, a, an integer value in cents. So we're gonna say const amount to charge is actually parse int of amount times 100 because Stripe is gonna expect our amount in the smallest denomination possible. So this is gonna be the cents that we wanna actually charge. So instead of passing price here, what we wanna do is we, we're gonna create a price on the fly. One option would be to make an API call here and say like, I don't know, await stripe.prices.create and pass in the unit amount as the amount to charge. Um, and then take this price, this new price that we created and pass its ID down into the price. But there's another option and that alternative is instead of passing the price, we can pass price underscore data. And this will dynamically create a price when the checkout session is created. Now inside of the Stripe API, this is one of the patterns is that if you have a property that has an underscore data suffix, we have this thing called subordinate object creation. That means we're gonna create an, a new price object on the fly. So here we can specify the unit amount as the amount to charge. We can also specify the currency 
as USD. And finally, we do need to specify the product. So in this case, we want to pass, we could either pass a, an ID of a product. So if we go back to the Stripe dashboard here, we can grab this ID of the product and pass that in, or we can create the product on the fly also. And so we'll look at that in just a moment. So now if we go back over to our page here and we entered in 4242, let's say we want to donate $42.42. Now, when we're redirected, our donation is for $42.42. So this is a, a really common tool if you wanted to accept donations and you, you're collecting the amount someone is going to donate on your site before you're redirected. It's also a common use case if you are uh, looking up your products inside of your database, calculating an amount and passing that to Stripe. But we still had to know the ID of the product here. So just like we can pass price underscore data, we can also pass product underscore data. And all of the attributes that we could pass to create a product are also available here. So we can pass in if we wanted a name here, um, like my donation, and then we can pass in a, des a description that's like awesome donation. You can also pass images. That's uh, an array of URLs and publicly accessible images. So let's save that and go back through our payment flow one last time. If we were now going to pay $50, we want to donate, we're redirected back to Stripe. And now we can see that this product here is now related to the custom product and the custom price that were created on the fly when we were making our checkout session. So now we see that we are going to make this awesome donation for $50 and we are going to be redirected back to our demo. So that's a couple different ways that you can pass in variable amounts. This price underscore data and product underscore data approach to creating an ad hoc price on the fly while you're making the API call is also supported inside of invoicing and subscriptions. This is one of the ways that you might manage a large product catalog outside of Stripe. In practice, I would recommend creating those products and prices inside of the Stripe dashboard and then passing the price property here instead of price data most of the time, unless again, you are solving for this donation use case. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.